Ten toes, that's my MO. All right, y'all, we back again with another one, man. My GoPro is dead, so I'm gonna have to shoot some footage with the phone. We're gonna be picking up that van right there. This thing is paying pretty well, man. I was able to get $550, man, going 32 miles. Can y'all believe it? That is absolutely crazy. So I'm going to back up in front of it. It may run, it's got a busted windshield for sure, but it may run. Uh, they gave me the keys. So I'm gonna back up in front of it, man, load it up and get gone. I'm under a tight time frame right now. Um, I wish my GoPro was working where well, the battery was had some juice because I could uh, set it up. I don't have a stand for my phone. But um, we're gonna get this thing loaded and uh, get to the people that bought it because they close at 4.30. Well, the loader stops at 4.30 and if this thing doesn't run, I would like the loader to get it off. So we'll have to see. I guess we'll go ahead and see if it runs. I definitely got the key. Let's see what we got here. Something hit the windshield. It ain't wrecked. It ain't got no damage nowhere, but. Oh, look at there. Wow. Runs and everything. Holy cow. That's going to save me some time. That's most definitely going to save me some time. I got a nice little route set up for uh, after I talk this one off. I'm going to have to break it down to y'all, but it's going to work out real well. I can't hold this phone. And, uh, well, I guess I can hold it out the window. I need a stand for my phone, man. That's why I'm messing up at. This thing I got about 112,000 miles. It's crazy. Oh, water coming in. Make sure I'm lined up. Most definitely. Most definitely. Wow, man. Sometimes I get blessed, man. Holy cow. This thing running and driving. That's got enough room in the back. All right, let me strap it down. All right, I pulled in the lot at 3.34. I took that first video at 3.34, and it is now 3.41. I was able to get that bad boy loaded in seven minutes and now we out of here. So I am going to get on the bypass and then hopefully I got some juice in my GoPro because I don't want to be holding this thing while I'm driving. So I'll get back with y'all in a minute or maybe when I drop this off, I'll get back with y'all. And like I said, feel y'all in on this little journey I got, man. This is this is the prototypical style journey that I like to go on. If I could, if I could choose how to do it, this would be the, the way to do it. So I reach back out. Well, I touch back in with y'all in a minute. All right, we got that bad boy off. That was light work. It took me 42 minutes to get here. And the next stop is like 17 minutes. The next one is a pedal. It's on the way home. Well, it's not directly on the way home, but I mean, as you can imagine, 17 minutes away ain't very far. So it's very close to here but still close enough going to the house. So we'll pick that up and we're gonna take it home. And in the morning, we're gonna take it to uh, the auction and winder. Got that 
the bound plan. So look at there, that's the next spot. 17 minutes, 13 miles. So I gotta go up here and grab my check. And then, uh, like I said, I'll be pulling up on uh, that pedal at 447. So that's pretty good there. And uh, at some point I'm gonna break it down to you. I'm, I'm gonna break it down to y'all uh, the rest of the trip. Just gotta figure out the right time. Maybe after I get this next vehicle, uh, then I'll be at the house. Or I might just do it when I get home. So, cause I want to pull out the tablet and the phone and show y'all, you know, show you the whole round trip if I can. And that way it'll uh, be able to have a better visual of what I'm talking about. So uh, stick around, be back in a minute. How's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? All this right here, I just unbolted it. Oh, that's fine. Forward, I was trying to get them intake valves. I'm gonna just, I just gotta figure out where to attach to it at to get it to, so I can pull it. It's all good. All right. I get it figured out. All right, y'all. Damn, GoPro went dead, of course, but I got it on there. It wasn't too bad. Wentz pulled it easily. So we finna get out of here. I'm sweating. It's hot. My hat's soaking wet. Uh, we are. 35 minutes 25 miles from the house we're gonna take this one home and deliver it tomorrow and that's gonna be a part of this uh, great journey I keep telling y'all about so uh, stick around and when I get home I'll rap with y'all about this whole thing I've been talking about this whole time so be back with y'all in a minute all right y'all we done made it home with this pile of junk I am going to switch over to my screen record I got this new feature that I'm gonna try to use to show y'all how I set these routes up. So uh, take a look at this. So that Jetta that's on the trailer right now, we picked it up in Commerce, Georgia. That was, if you recall, 17 minutes from where we dropped the van off. The van paid $550. Left that spot, picked up the Jetta. The Jetta is going to IAA. That thing is paying 160. Now I did stop at home on the way but you'll see why once i show you my my route so in the morning we're going to take the jetta to iaa that one's going to pay 160. now from iaa we're going to go oh, hit, hit the wrong one we're going to go to carvana which is 6.6 .6 miles away 12 minutes we're picking up a van there that's going to hendersonville north carolina that one's paying $375, 151 miles. When we drop that one off, we are picking up a Dodge Durango at the same exact location. And that one is coming back to Sosa Automotive Group in Gainesville. I don't like that route. I like the, uh, oh, go back. I like this, uh, I-85 route right here. So from Auto Star back to Gainesville is $295 for that one. And from Gainesville back to the house, if I don't find nothing else to, to run, is 47 miles, 59 minutes. So as you can see, that's kind of how I, I set my, my routes up. So let's take a look at it total trip. From getting the van to dropping off the last vehicle the total is thirteen hundred and eighty dollars divide that by 405 miles man you're looking at three dollars and forty cent a mile so that's pretty good man for literally a not even a whole day's worth of work i mean i started 
at UGA at 3 p.m. I got I got the UGA at 3 p.m. roughly. And um I got home just a little while ago at like 6 45, 6, right, maybe at 7 o'clock. Uh so you talking four hours there, and then tomorrow that stuff is gonna take five hours, maybe five or six hours. So man, you can't beat it, man. That's that's just the way I like to do things, stay local and still make some good money. The next morning. All right, y'all, what it do, what it do. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off this morning. I'm just gonna show y'all that we got Benjo Cole with us this morning on this journey. And it is 7.42. So we're gonna see what time we can get all this stuff done and pull back up at the house or at least maybe when we drop the last car off. So. Stick around with us today, man. It should be a good day. Should show some insight on how we roll, man. And like I said, we'll be back. We're over here at the Kroger fuel station, man. I've never been so happy to see diesel $5.12 a gallon. <laughs> it's been $5.34, $5.40 at most places in this area. And uh, this one is $5.12. So we had to jump on it. It's eight oh eight, So we're still rolling along. Uh, plan is good. I'm a, I'm behind by a few minutes, but it's all right. So I think this is probably gonna take. I had a quarter tank, so this should take about say about 120, about 120 dollars at five dollars. So yeah, look at the boots. I haven't I haven't broke these out yet. You ain't. Mm -hmm. I like. Them. I love them. You riding today, huh? Black socks. You said you riding today. Why you ride? Because I'm earning money. <laughs> so I can get me a monitor. I hear that. I hear that, but I'm glad that you're working for what you want. But uh, let's uh, fill this tank up, man. Um, and then we're going to be back on the road. The auction is like 17 minutes from here. Not bad. And then, uh, like I said, the Carvana is about 12 minutes away from that. So if that, I don't even think it's that far. I can't even remember. All right, y'all. We are waiting for him to grab this car off. He's loading another one right now. He just loaded all three of those in that trailer. So we should uh, hopefully get ours off next. Ooh, that dude got just enough room, boy. Bumper stayed tight. I mean, not tight, but it stayed on, didn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's ride, man. We got a lot of work to do today. All right, y'all. Going 10. What is that? What is that, an alarm? What is that, an alarm? Yep. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> and off she goes. All right, let's run around the corner and get this van.
light work right there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> light work. All right, y'all. We got it loaded up, strapped up. You thirsty? What you want? Life and music. Huh? I promise you. I only bought one, it was for me, but you can have it. Mute that. Pause that. So, they actually wasted a lot of our time, man. Well, I ain't gonna say wasted. I had a good conversation with a couple of these Carvana drivers. Actually, there was three of them that ended up walking up and they wanted to know how I do things. They told me how they, how they operate and all that, so that worked out, but look here, man. 44 minutes I've been sitting here, so. That threw us behind a little bit, but we got it loaded. And uh, now we're gonna be off to the next spot, which is two hours and 36 minutes, 149 miles. So we'll check in with y'all later on when we deliver this one, pick up the next one, probably find some lunch, some vittles. So we're gonna holler at y'all later on. Peace. Got it loaded. You're filming yourself, man. Oh, yeah. Turn it around. <laughs> I mean, all right, we got it loaded. And now we headed back. Basically, take this one back the way we came, really. And we actually got another car that we could pick up in Roswell that's going back to our actual city of Athens. So when we drop this off, basically, we're going to make an hour trip home empty or we can take that hour and go to roswell pick up a car and that car goes right back to our city in athens for another it's at 200 it's listed at 200 i might be able to get it for 250. so we got to figure that out the only thing i worry about is sometimes he, he'd be ready to go home so and i don't like to keep him out longer than you know what I'm saying he feel like he want to go home we, we go home so it ain't always about the money all the time but uh regardless I just gotta put some straps on this and put my stuff up and uh, we're gonna be heading back to our side of town. I had to pull over for a quick lunch. We got Buddy in the building. So what you got over there to eat? Fries. Just fries, y'all. He come to Zaxby's Chicken and get just fries, no chicken. Explain yourself, man. Sometimes I get chicken and sometimes I don't. Yeah. It depends. But you like the fries, huh? I hear that. I got me old kicking chicken with barbecue on it, man. Pretty tasty. We're gonna scarf on this, man, then we're gonna get back on the road. Three hours later. My little buddy sleep, y'all. He couldn't hang. I'm here at the delivery. 448. We're running a little bit behind, but we ain't bad. The uh, delivery spot is over there across the street. Looks kind of tight, so found this empty lot. And uh, we're gonna unload right here. I'm gonna take it off and drive it over there, have them sign the paperwork. And then uh, we're gonna be headed back to the house. Like I said, we're an hour from the house. So if I can get this thing unloaded, signed for in the next 15 minutes, five o'clock, then we should be pulling up at the house at six o'clock. So a little bit, a little bit behind, but still not bad. Um, I mean, it's just like hitting the clock at a, at a day job, man. You know, we left at eight, gonna be back home at six. It is what it is. So. Let me get it off and I'll catch back up with y'all in a minute. Y'all, this thing sound good. Traffic right now, he's waiting. He 
waiting for the traffic, y'all. Y'all, let's look at some of these vehicles with me. Y'all see that red Ford right there? That's a 6 0 Power Stroke. A Chevy. Um, I'm not sure about what Chevy that is, but I know all my vehicles. Well, which one is it? Show y'all that one. Peace. Uh, peace. All right, y'all. We got home. 6:20 p.m. Look how fast the young lad trying to get out of here. What you got? What you got to do so fast, man? I'm gonna ride my bike, y'all. <laughs> he ready? Hey, hey, hey! Tell him, tell him what, tell him what you just told me. Don't do what? Don't park in front of the Don't park in front of the doorway. And why is that? I ride my bike. That's that's your little riding area right there. Yep, that's where I do my wheelies. Hey, y'all. The man done told me. He done dictated where I can park it. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Well, we at the house, man. We are here. I normally like to let the let the trip idle for a little bit before I cut it off at the long chips. But, man, that's it. We are here. Back to the house. We left about 745, and we are back at 620. We made, if you count everything that you saw in this video, Starting with the van. I don't know if I mentioned it, but that van was literally 15 minutes away. That was the crazy thing about it. Um, it was local. So it was 32, uh, 32 miles, $550, but it was literally right around the corner from the house. So if you count all that, man, we made $1,380 or $1,320. I think it was $1,380. Uh, I did the math. I started with about a half a tank yesterday and I got half a tank right now i put 115 in this morning and when we left south carolina i put in another 95 so it's 215 to 210 so 1380 minus 210 that's still 1170 basically all profit man i mean i like it I, if i could do that every day or every other day i'd be fine with that so it, man i'm gonna go in here hang out with the family hang out with the uh kids kick back watch some tv watch some youtube edit some videos and whatnot and we're gonna call it the day man but beast with another one man she is worth her weight in gold she has hustled hard so hard that we about to get a day cab man we're so close we're so close to getting that day cab i've been telling y'all about anyway that's it for this episode man hopefully y'all enjoyed it we're gonna holler at y'all later on Peace!